Hey guys, welcome back to Nexion blog and in this video, I want to show you how you can show color correction in a beautiful way with VSTC free video editor. Now, it's actually super easy to do color correction in VSTC. I mean, if you actually go to video effects and if you go to adjustments, this entire section is related to color correction only. And we have seen couple of options from here previously. I've made videos on brightness, contrast, gamma, colorize, sepia and so on. But today, what I really want to show you is how you can present this kind of color correction in a beautiful way on screen. And so what we are going to do first is, as you can see, I've already imported my demo video. So first I will double click on the video and I would like to create stripes at the top and bottom of the video. And so to do that, go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now look inside the wipe settings, which is present inside the properties window. Type is already set to door, so that's fine. Mode is vertical in, so change this from vertical in to vertical out. And directly is set to false, so that's fine. Inside the transition levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon 100. So change this from 0 semicolon 100 to 0 semicolon 20. And inside the gradient length, currently the value is 50%. So change this from 50 to 0. Perfect. Now place this wipe transition right at the beginning of the video like this. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is go to video effects once again. Go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Look inside the wipe settings once again, type is already set to door, so that's fine. Mode is vertical out, so that's fine as well. Directly is set to false, so that's fine. Inside the transition levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon 20. So change this from 0 semicolon 20 to just 20. Perfect. And inside the gradient length option, value is already set to 0%. Now, what I would like to do is I would like to increase the duration of this second wipe transition. The duration of my entire video is 9 seconds. So what I would like to do is or maybe it is 9 second to 66 millisecond. So what I would like to do is I would like to increase the duration of this second wipe transition like this. Perfect. So the duration of my first wipe transition is 1 second and the duration of my second wipe transition is 8 second to 66 millisecond. So total it is 9 second to 66 millisecond which is the entire duration of my video. So if I just quickly play the video for you, let me just go back to the main timeline and let me just quickly play the video for you. Perfect. Perfect. What I would also like to do is I would like to add a fade in effect. So let me just go to video effects, go to transparency, select fade in and then click on OK. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you once again. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is you need to create a duplicate of this video. So click on this video. Press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste it. Perfect. And what we will do next is we will place the cursor at one second. Right here at one second. As you can see, my cursor is now placed at one second in the timeline. And I would like to go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now let me just mark my rectangle outside the screen on the left side like this. Perfect. Perfect. Let me just place it directly on the left side. So let me just place it directly on the left side of the screen like this. Perfect. 
I would also like to change the color inside my rectangle. So currently the color is white. So click on the rectangle and look inside the rectangle object settings. Below right here, you will find this fill background option where currently solid is selected. So that's fine. And below right here, you will find this color option where currently white is selected. So I would like to change this color from white to black. Perfect. And what I would also like to do is I would like to decrease the duration of my rectangle. So currently the duration of my rectangle is 8 second to 66 millisecond. So let me just decrease the duration of my rectangle to 2 second 500 millisecond. So let me just write 0 to 500 inside the duration option and press enter. Perfect. And what we will do next is double click on the rectangle object and go to video, uh, go to add object, go to movement, select movement and then click on OK. Now move the rectangle from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen like this. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you from the start, this is what is happening on screen. Perfect. And now what we will do is double click on the video which is present at the top and place the cursor at one second. Place the cursor at one second. And go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe once again and then click on OK. Now look inside the wipe settings, type is set to door. So change this from door to side and mode is right to left. So change this from right to left to left to right. Left to right and directly set to false transition levels is 20%. So change this from 20% to 0 semicolon 100. Gradient length is already set to 0%. So that's fine as well. Now let me just place this wipe transition right below right here. So just to avoid confusion, let me just pull this wipe transition up like this. Perfect. And I would like to increase the duration of this wipe transition to 2 second 500 millisecond. So let me just write 2 second 500 millisecond. Perfect. And now the next thing which you need to do is we will add another wipe transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. And let me just pull this swipe transition up like this. And now click on the swipe transition which you just created. Look inside the wipe settings. Type is set to side. Mode is left to right. Directly is false. Inside the transition levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon 100%. So change this from 0 semicolon 100% to just 100%. Perfect. And now increase the duration of this wipe transition like this. Perfect. So now if I just go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play the video for you, you will see nothing happen on screen as of now because I've still not applied color correction. So now what we will do is double click on the video which is present at the bottom. And let me just pull this wipe transition up like this so that there is no confusion. And now let me just place the cursor at one second in the timeline. And I would like to apply the color twist effect. So let me just go to video effects, go to adjustments, select color twist and then click on OK. Now let me just place this color twist effect right below like this. Perfect. 
Now look inside the color twist effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside the templates currently custom is selected. So click on this drop down list and you can apply any template which you want. I would like to apply the retro sunset template. So let me just select retro sunset. And now if I just quickly go back to the main editing timeline and if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is how you can show color correction in a beautiful way in VSCC free video editor. So let me just change the template inside the color twist effect. So this was retro sunset. Let me just quickly play this thing for you once again. So this is retro sunset. Let me just change to some other template. So let me just click on color twist effect and inside the templates option. Let me just select, let's say, let's say night. And now let me just quickly play this video for you once again from the start. Perfect. So this is how you can show color correction in a beautiful way in VSCC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see you in the next video. Till then, thanks for watching.